Current breast MRI imaging protocols can produce a large amount of data. You can produce as many as 750 images in a sagittal dynamic acquisition, over 100 images with a sagittal T2 series, 80 more images with an axial T1, and still 40 more images with an axial stir sequence. Subtraction images will account for an additional 750 images. A single study can therefore yield over 1,700 images. Now you've produced over 1,000 images, what in the world are you going to do with all of them? How do you organize and cross-correlate this number of images? When we first began breast MRI, we interpreted them using a non-dedicated workstation. Correlating multiple pulse sequences was cumbersome, and manually interrogating and generating kinetic data was both extremely time-consuming and inherently inaccurate. You need a system with the ability to perform automated subtraction imaging, preferably with the use of motion correction algorithms. You also want the ability to perform 2D, 3D NPR, and MIP images. It is important to be able to evaluate and characterize enhancement kinetics automatically and with optimal accuracy. And finally, performing all of this in a standardized and reproducible method which facilitates image interpretation. Computer-aided detection systems, or CAD systems for breast MRI, have been available for several years. They have been designed to meet these needs to automatically perform each of these functions. In breast MRI, CAD systems have gone beyond the role of mammographic CAD systems by not only providing image analysis, but also a means to manage and organize multiple images in a standardized and reproducible manner. We first began our breast MRI program without a CAD system. Image interpretation was slow and very labor intensive. With the purchase of our first CAD system, we experienced a significant improvement in reading efficiency, and this was at a time when our imaging sequences were not very data intensive. Today, with our high resolution, more data intensive protocols, this improvement would have been even far greater. We also feel that the ability of CAD systems to automatically evaluate enhancement kinetics is far more accurate than our formal manual method. A CAD system has served to both reduce our exam review time as well as to increase our diagnostic confidence. A CAD system can also benefit surgical planning by automatically producing multiplanar and 3D reformations. They can also automatically calculate tumor volume which has been shown to be useful in following a patient's response to chemotherapy. Currently, however, there is not a large amount of literature to confirm this. Abstracts presented at the 2005 RSNA have presented preliminary data supporting the benefits of CAD in breast MRI. This abstract demonstrated improved accuracy of breast MRI interpretation with the use of a CAD system. Larger numbers are being sought to further validate these initial findings. This second abstract suggested that CAD not only improved accuracy, but also saved a substantial amount of time during image analysis and interpretation of studies. Dr. Lehman's study also suggested that CAD may improve accuracy. Hopefully, there will be additional studies forthcoming to validate both improved efficiency and accuracy with the use of a CAD system. Our personal experience in our practice suggests that both of these claims are true. We would have a difficult time even considering continuing to perform breast MRI without the use of a CAD system. We are aware of three manufacturers of breast MRI CAD systems. These include CAD Sciences, Confirma's CAD Stream system, and in vivo's DynaCAD system. If you do not yet own a CAD system, these would be three options from which to begin your evaluation.